First remove the stove pipe from the patio heater. Next get your elite cage and lay it on the ground and slide the contents out from the box. Take the shrink wrap off of the packaging and remove each part and lay out in front of you. The larger panels are your bottom panels. The smaller paned panels are your top panels. Next, remove all vinyl from parts. This would include both bottom back panels. Lay out your instruction assembly guide and remove contents from middle baffle pan. Open your hardware bag and lay out your hardware in front of you. Assemble the bottom, right, and left pre-assembled panels to the middle baffle pan. The flat side of the middle baffle pan faces down. Be sure to insert the quarter 20 bolts only onto the bottom portion of the pan. Flip the middle baffle pan so that you can assemble the bottom right panel. Attach using quarter 20 by half inch bolts on all four sides. Now we're ready to assemble the partially assembled cage onto the patio heater. The back side has rib nuts or the gold zinc looking threaded taps that tell you which side is the rear. The large holes on the front side of the panels go in the front. Next, attach the bottom of the Elite cage to the bottom base of the patio heater using quarter 20 by half inch bolts.
Next, assemble the bottom rear plate to the Elite cage. Slide the rear panel over the hopper and onto the back of the Elite cage. Using 1032 by half inch bolts, keep all bolts loose, making it easiest to get all bolts started before tightening. Next, attach the door hinges to the left frame of the bottom of the cage using 1032 by half inch bolts with K nuts. Next, install your front door to the two door hinges of the frame. Again, using 1032 by half inch bolts with K nuts, insert a 1032 bolt into the top hole on the door and apply a K nut to the back side. Next, do a bolt through the bottom of the hinge to make securing the door easier to aligning your next two holes. Insert 1032 by half inch bolt with K nut. And finger tighten. Next, install your remaining two holes using 1032 by half inch bolts along with K nuts. Be sure to make sure your door closes and shuts easily. If everything is okay, you may tighten all eight K nuts with bolts. Next, install your door latch receiver using one 1032 by half inch bolt. Insert through the door latch and apply with the hook facing out. Next, you may install your spring handle, easiest when applied using a clockwise direction. Tighten until the bottom of the thread of the spring handle has reached the door latch. Next, install the top horseshoe collar to the top right and left panels. Apply using quarter 20 by half inch bolts. Horseshoe shaped collar faces the rear of the stove. This allows you to install your stove pipe once the cage has been installed. The rear of the top right and left panels again have the gold colored rib nuts on the back side. Next install your top left panel. Be sure to insert the interior panel in between 
the horseshoe collar and the angle iron frame of the Elite Cage. Attach top section of the Elite Cage to the exterior portion of the Elite Cage panel. Mesh will tuck behind the middle baffle pan. Secure using four quarter twenty by half inch bolts. Next, install the middle mesh panel to the top portion of the patio heater's elite cage. Apply the hot surface warning logo before installing the middle mesh panel. Using a 1032 by half inch bolt, insert through the angle iron frame and attach the heat signature. Next, align the slotted hole through the 1032 by half inch bolt and secure using a K nut. Swing the second half of the hot surface warning logo to the adjacent side and apply again a 1032 by half inch bolt through the hot surface warning and secure using a K nut. Next, fit middle mesh panel flush with the interior of the angle iron frame and secure using 1032 bolts with K nuts. Next, we will install our stovepipe back to the patio heater. Take the bottom section of stovepipe and slide through the middle baffle hole. Open your door and slide on your stovepipe onto the stovetop collar. It's easiest to make sure the rear seam goes onto the stovetop collar first before pulling the remainder portion of the stovepipe around the collar. Next, attach your spark arrestor to that first section of pipe by sliding through the stovetop collar. Next, we will attach the rear back top panel using 1032 by half inch bolts This completes your Elite Cage Assembly. For questions, please call our 1-800 number. We will be more than glad to help you. Thanks again for purchasing the Elite Cage by Wood Pellet Products.